Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on Premiere Pro on title templates. How to use them and how to create your own. So that if you create something that you really like and you want to use it in other projects, how you can save it so that it's available in Premiere Pro to use elsewhere. So the first thing we need to do is create a title. The first thing I'm doing is selecting my titles bin so that when I create my new title it will be dropped into the bin. I could use the title button here, new title but the best way of doing it really is to use the new items button here click on it and go new title and then call it template if you don't name your titles then you have no idea what they are you can spend forever trying to find them now you've done this before you know you can turn it on and off the video we're going to leave the video on and we're going to create a title based on a template and it is this button here templates that you need to use OK, so click on this template button. The shortcut is Control J. And here you have a whole series of templates that you can use. Most of them tend to be quite big and take up most of the screen. And they're really more to do with DVD menus. Um, you've got a whole series of them. The ones that will interest us are the upper thirds and the lower thirds. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's open the upper thirds and click on the first one. Basically, it's saying at the upper third of the screen, it's got a title. There's only three of them. Putting a little title, something at the upper third. Now, we tend not to use upper thirds a great deal. We tend to use lower thirds a lot more. And you will notice when you open lower thirds and click on the first one, there are a lot more lower thirds than there are upper thirds. And to quickly view them all, rather than having to laboriously click through them, you click on one and push your down and up arrows to quickly scroll through the whole series of titles until you find one that you quite like and then you can use that as a template that you can adjust let's go with that one it's got a heading and a subheading let's just click OK and it puts it straight onto my screen now I can select the background element I can select the subheading I can select the heading but I can also select as you see, I can select the, the beveled bit or the, the shape layer underneath the heading. So you need to be a little bit careful that you are selecting the bit that you mean to select. So if I select the heading text and double click it, I can highlight that text and I can call it Otley Shevin. And I can then also select the subheading, double click on that. So it's highlighted it for me, which is nice. I can type Yorkshire, comma, UK. Now that doesn't quite line up. Right, so we select our arrow tool from the tools palette up here and we can move our Yorkshire UK out so it's just this side of this title safe line. And then we can also pick Otley Shevin and we can shift it over a bit until it's in about the right place. If you don't get it 100% in the right place, what you can do is you can select that Otley Shevin text holding my shift key to select the text behind so that they're both selected and then the align is up and I can actually align those two together this is just aligning this shape layer underneath in this box so that they are aligned and then if you're unhappy with the alignment you can select the layer you want to move so let's choose the text in this case and I can use my up and down arrows I'm moving that down with my down arrow so it looks a little bit better and of course you can also choose the text and you can select the text and you can change the font so at the moment that's a 49.8 I might change that to say 45 and hit return and there you go smaller and better and then to apply it to my project close off the dialog box take my title drag it to my timeline and there it is Otley Shevin Yorkshire UK so that's how you can use a title template but what if I've already created a title that I like and I want to be able to use as a template in other future projects say I'm doing a series of programs and they all require the same type of title the whole way through well Firstly, let's delete this one. Let's select it and hit the delete key and get rid of it. And then we have my Otley Shevin title that I created earlier that we're going to say is a template or we want to use as a template. So there it is. And say I'm going to do a whole series on Otley Shevin and I want them all to use this similar template all the way through. How do I do that? How do I save it as one of those templates? Simple. You can either double click it in the timeline or you can double click it here in the project panel. Doesn't matter which. Double click to open and now the title is open and I can choose that template button again so click on the templates button and then you will notice over here 
that there is a flyout menu. Click on the flyout menu and the first option is import current title as template. Click on that, name it, I'm going to leave it as Otley Shevin and click OK. And then under this little box at the top, user templates, Otley Shevin has been created. And we can click on it and see a preview of it. Now, if I want to use this in any other project, I can save this project, shut this project down, and then I can open another project entirely, open up my titler, and there Otley Shevin will be to be able to drag in and use exactly how I like. So that's it. That's how you use title templates, and that's how you can save your own title templates to use in other projects at other times. My name's Andrew Davis, and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.